This is Twit. Bet is this week in uh, the UK. This is the annual education show. So everybody is there talking about educational stuff. Um, the big news from Microsoft, because everyone's doing it, you know, the AI stuff. Um, they have an, 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 a, sorry, a learning uh, fluency. I'm sorry. A reading. <laughs> you need it, whatever called, it is you need it, Paul. Uh, what called is Reading it, Paul? Coach, right? Yes. I don't know. Don't, don't make me say it again. Um, it, it's It's been available in the Microsoft education space uh, for a little while, but now they are making it available for free to everybody and are adding generative AI to it so that it can do such things as in, you know, create stories for children so that they can learn to read using these generated stories. Now, that should throw up some red flags, right? Um, obviously, there are safeguards in place to you know for safety, quality, age appropriateness, et cetera, et cetera. But you, know, you can expect hilarity there. But I think the neat thing is just that they are just making it available to everybody. Um, and so it's coming out in late January. Um, and for people in the education space, there are going to be further enhancements uh, coming in the spring. And uh, Google and Microsoft each are, bo are both are are both adding an AI learning path on their respective education uh, mm -hmm. services, right? So Microsoft for or Microsoft Education, I guess, and Google Education, I think, are the two. Um, just coincidentally or not, both just added AI uh, for educator paths. The idea being, these are the people that need to know this the most because how and where can we? Uh, integrate AI into play, you know learning plans and so forth. Obviously, it's scary and new and different and. Uh, well, and, and we're not time. talking about teaching people about AI so much as using AI to teach people, right? Let me think about that. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 using it. Yes. Right. <laughs> it's kind of well, a, using, a using AI as a co-pilot, like a, a co-pilot for a teacher, right? You get, yes. That's one way to look at it. But I think there's at the same time, there's also this. Go ahead. go ahead. I think you've also got this whole angle of the, the, the Western teaching system where you put 30 kids of the same age oh, in a God, classroom yeah, in yeah. front of one person, sure. you know, basically based on the British system for teaching factory workers That's and insane. they write down to the alarms for changing the shift and so forth uh, mm -hmm. and trying to teach a single subject to the same, pe all these people the same way. It's like so disconnected from reality. It's insane. Yeah. And now we have software that's very capable of uh, watching your ability to answer these questions and tune right. the material to that person and have a really good measure of competence at the end of it to say, okay, you understand this material now. My, you know? my daughter's college roommate graduated in December and has mm -hmm. a job teaching, right? She's a teacher now. And my daughter will graduate, hopefully, <laughs> probably in uh, May, right? So they're, they're just shifted off a little bit. Um, and we, she, they were up here for the weekend. Uh, Kelly, my daughter, actually come up here to interview at a school, right? Because she's going to continue in school because because uh, I have infinite money and that's fine. Yeah. So um, <laughs> anyway, it was good to see them. But uh, it was interesting talking to her roommate because she was saying that they have these classrooms that have kind of curved half tables with screens. And they uh, this allows them to do basically what you're saying, which is you mm -hmm. tailor the lessons, and it's sort of what Google and Microsoft are both saying with education in the education market to the individual needs of each student, which is not what was met by that uh, school system that I went to, which is right. exactly what you described. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I am qualified now to work in a mine or a factory, uh, and not for much else. So, yeah, I, I thought I, I, even in the short amount of time that you know, kind of the, this whole revolution has been occurring. This stuff is already kind of occurring in education, and she's yeah. not. It's not like she works at a rich private school. This is public education too. So, yeah. Well, and the system needs oh. to adapt because we, we can't yeah. pay teachers enough and we should be paying them more, which means we're going to be, be fewer of them. <laughs> yes. So the more and the quality goes so down. so much of this rote yeah. learning, right? Like right. even education and technology has bifurcated into you do yeah. your video training, right? Your plural sites and such of the world. And then you maybe go to a conference for more specialty stuff. Like it sort of speaks to as we have a larger and larger repertoire of things that kids need to know to be functional humans in this complicated society, a bunch right. of it is rote training and the software will do a fine job of that. And some mm -hmm. of it needs a personal interaction that has a deeper understanding of you and your capabilities. When you were in school, did you ever do, a, we called this a language lab and it was a room you went into where you'd put on a headset with a little microphone and it was all mechanical, right? But it was like Raytheon Corporation presents and, and they would do these things, but the teacher could listen in on individual students to see how they were doing and then provide feedback that way. But it was very manual and you know it wasn't like a you know an ai uh based feedback system could provide instantaneous feedback to people 
Sure. As they did things to everybody all at once. Right. I yeah. mean, and, um, and I think that's the, the point, right? It's like, yeah, it, this is personal to me. Not so much as I have little kids. I don't any more than you do, but I have a few friends yeah. who in I their fifties have chosen to yes. marry younger women. Right. And now have babies. I know. I can't stand uh, people my age going through what I went through 20 years ago. They're the worst. Well, and they, and they really did about? the first. Well, <laughs> and plus they're keen to do the second go. You know, they right. have some more means. Oh, I see. They have 20 somethings as well. It's like, now that I'm doing this oh, again. Oh, no, I'm so, talking about people who were never going to have kids. Yeah. Got remarried yeah. to someone who has kids. And now suddenly they're like, oh my God, you can't believe this. They have friends all around the neighborhood. And, they, and it's like, dude. 15 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Like stop. Like it's, it, yeah. No, it's, it, it's, this is Mary, married a younger okay. woman. She second really time, wanted the second, child. Second go around. Second yep. go around. And so they're freaking out about the education part. Like that's a long conversation we're having. Yeah. I could see that. And just like, what's the so system I want to plug to into? Me. It sounds like brave new world. The <laughs> well, robots raising our You know children. what though? It, it looked cool in Battlestar Galactica and I don't <laughs> see any reason why. Oh you know, my God. I mean, but, you know, the, uh, the, the public systems got was that kid's problems, name boxy right? or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, uh, you're right. We've yeah, screwed up education. education. So let's, let's really well, education up. has <laughs> well, so little money. Yeah. Right. Let's, the and reality is the most engaged parents left the system. They went to private, they went yes. home, they did right. something. And so right. the system has only gotten worse. And they, and one, in one hand, you're looking at the community greater good and saying, how do we make the system better? And the other hand, it's like, I have a window well, 12 years for this child to get an education yeah, and I'm right. going to make sure they get the best education they can. Um, the, you know, someone will say, well, let's just pay teachers more. It's like, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. I mean, how else can we do it? Oh, hey, AI? Yeah, let's now. do that. Let's do Don't that. Be yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.